What's up guys? Welcome to today's Fire Alarm video where we are going to be doing the Kyle D'Amato special. So let's get into the video. So, um, basically, there will be three systems in one, uh, and they'll all consist of devices I have purchased uh, from Kyle D'Amato on eBay. Big shout out to him, link to his Discord server in the description, he gives some awesome deals and alarms, if you need alarms, you gotta come see Kyle D. But, um, yeah, definitely check him out on eBay, I'll post his eBay in the description as well. If you join his Discord server, you can get first picks on different items. Um, and there's different things and fun little things. You can have conversations about alarms on there. But anyway, um, he cannot make it through Discord call, but we have our setup. So let's go ahead and do our first phase of devices. So coming up, we have my new 4251-20 T-Bar. Finally got one of these. You probably already saw it in the unboxing video. Really nice standard pull station. Um, coming over here. We have my not BG12 LX, um, another full station I have purchased from Kyle. If we go up, we have my Wheelock AS-24MCC ceiling mount white Wheelock AS. Going into our closet area, we have my Federal Signal Vowels um, VALS remote strobe because the speaker is not being used. Uh, I'll leave that open. If we come over to our annunciator area, we have an Edwards 270 SPO fire alarm pole station. And going up, we have an Edwards ceiling mount Genesis fire alarm horn strobe. Um, this is on temporal 30 candela, the other one's on 15, and then the one in the closet is like 0.27 or something. Same detectors and push station. Um, yeah, so let's get to the fun part of setting the alarms off. Um, we're hearing protection kids. Um, this is definitely going to be loud because it's a Genesis and a Wheelock AS. So, you know, it, it's going to be up there. Um, and I'm going to try and pull an Andrew because we all know Andrew is like the best fire alarm collector ever. New age server alarm. Oh. Okay, so there we go. Um, that did not work as planned. My panel apparently pulls too quickly. Um, but I pulled the station anyway. As we can see, we have audible silence on all devices. So this one is running two-wire audible silence from Panel Sync on NAC3. If we come over here, like how is this silenced? And that is because I'm running NAC1 and 2 on my Firecom DSM. And that is running audible silence protocols. And of course, this one's just a remote strobe on NAC for the same NAC as this. And that way, it doesn't need audible silence protocols. So we have just enough NACs to do everything. Um, let's go ahead and pull our BG12. Thing looks awesome. Um, you also might notice that ceiling mount. Just close that for now. That ceiling mount and that ceiling mount. Also, the strobes are about to sync up, which is kind of cool. Uh, Genesis is these are very loud. I thought I would overpower the AS because it was on a uh, low volume, but they seem pretty equal. This is a little louder. 
Uh, looks like a frisbee kind of. <laughs> um, so let's go ahead and pull the 270. Interesting sinking. Horns are synced now. AS is slightly faster. Wow. It's nice audible silence. Okay, so let's go ahead and reset the rest of our pull stations. So we need... I'll put the screwdriver down for now. Um. Okay, let's go ahead and reset our 461 dash can see inside there, and this little button. My back boxes are just barely deep, deep enough to fit that terminal block, too. Which is kind of interesting. So I think it's the same terminal block as the newer, like the metal button style. Um, newer T-bars. Reset that. And let's go ahead and reset our panel. So I think that about wraps up phase one of our Kyle Diamato fire alarm system test. Um, so let's go to the next phase. Okay, so we're here at the second phase of the KD special. And over here we have no device. And that is because I didn't have enough pull stations to put up. Well, actually, I could have put this up, but I needed the longer mounting screws. So I didn't feel like digging for them. So I did not put that up. But, um, so that'll just have nothing for now. Same detector, of course. Over here, we have probably the most beautiful and amazing site I have ever seen. This is the Siemens U-MCS-W, I think. Remote strobe, and boy, does that look amazing. Just, just take it in while you can, I mean, you know. Okay, coming down, we have my Elenco 5D Fire Alarm Pulse Station. Um... Pretty simple, you've already seen it before. Same LED. Coming in here, we have my white Siemens speaker strobe. I have ceiling mount speaker strobe, and I forget the model, so whatever. Um, both these strobes are going to be in sync, because they can sync on a DSM, which it is very dark in here right now. Um, let's get the screwdriver out, because we'll need it. Coming over here, we have the Elenco 51D. And it's really hard to see, so we're not going to need the AC because the we have a mechanical horn up. So I'm just gonna unplug or turn everything off. And we're gonna go into full emergency mode with the emergency lights. Actually, yeah, it's kind of out of order. Come in here. Okay, so that should light it up a bit more. It's the first time you guys have seen this. Whatever, had glare. There's one. And coming over, we have one there. Really weird glare for some reason. But, um, yeah, now you can see over here a bit better. And 51D, and we have the Elenco 45S. These two came from the same building, and most likely this sign was in that building. So I'll just leave that there for now. So, uh, yeah. Let's go ahead and start the test with the original Elenco devices. Um, here we go. That thing is very loud and took me by surprise. <laughs> but, um, 120 beats per minute. Nice, amazing looking fire alarm. And another nice one. And they're both in sync, which I think is really cool. Uh, both on 30 Candela. They're both multi Candela, but I turned the uh, Candela selector spot away from, like, I mounted the strobe part upside down so that you didn't see an empty hole because they don't have the covers. 
So, um, looks a lot nicer. But, um, see over here, no audible silence. Um, okay, I'm going to reset this a while. And then we'll go do the 5D. So, okay, let's do that. And then, this is not the original screw. It's a bit longer than it could be. Yeah, and this will switch back up and then close it. And I'm not going to screw it back on because it's going to come off here shortly. Um, pull it again for fun because it's open. It's a really unique pull station design. Um, and let's go ahead and pull our 5D. So, here we go. Oh, you can hear the DSM clicking away. Both those strobes. Man, that looks good. I just, I can't stop fixating over that. Whatever. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. And that looks awesome. That looks amazing. Whatever, I'll, I'll look at it later. Um, so let's go ahead and reset our 5D. This one has the original screw in it. So it should not take nearly as long to reset. Hold on. Ah, there we go. Should have used the short screwdriver. What was I thinking? Open it. Switch up. And close it. Yeah, there we go. Okay, now we can go ahead and reset the system. And I'll be back once it has reset for phase three. And we're back um, for phase three of the KD special. And um, it's been a while since I recorded the last two parts. So I might forget some stuff. And it's also really hot in here in my room. Um, that's why it's so dark. Um, I don't have the lights on, and even though we have AC, it's just really hot. Um, actually, I should probably turn the fan on. Um, but anyway, so starting off at our first pull station spot. Wow, this light does not really like my phone. Um, okay, let me get like a flashlight. Um, there's Jesus. Okay, over here we have my 2099-9754 conventional fire alarm pull station. This one is a silver-backed one, not red-backed. Yeah, still same DSM. Over here we have my other 2099-9754, and this one does happen to be red-backed. I don't know if I can really show that. So, um, yeah, um, going up, we have my 4904-9185 remote strobe. Um, ceiling mount, and that's on the DSM, same detector, um, going over here, we have my 2099-9101, same enunciator and key switch, and my MB-G6-24, whatever it is, it's the motor bell, 6 inch, and the FX-PHD addressable photo heat and smoke sensor, and then in here, we have this. I mounted the junction box wrong so I couldn't mount this the correct way. So it's the sideways ISM25-S75S speaker strobe. Yes, I finally remembered the model in the closet. That's also on the DSM. So I believe our coding is set to continuous. So, um, yeah, let's go ahead and give this thing a whirl. Three, two, one. There we go. Yeah, that's pretty loud. It shakes the wall. See in here. Things normal. Go ahead and pull our other 2099-9754. There we go. 
Um, so all that's left now is our 2099-9101. I'm gonna grab my keys so we can reset them more quickly. Um, and let's go ahead and pull our 2099-9101. It's a black T-bar. So three, two, one. There we go. Okay, so now I'm going to turn off the flashlight and we're going to go ahead and reset the pull stations. So this might take a little while. Um, here we go. Just open it up. Close it. Now you over to our other one. Again, open it and close it. And then this final one. Um, just put the end, open it, close it. There we go. Anyway, guys, we're going to go ahead and reset. That wraps up the KD special. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.